into my reading era. I read a ton of books last summer and I want to do that again. So I'm getting ready to go to my local library. I picked this up the other day. It's Verity by Colleen Hoover. If you're on Book Talk, you know that this book literally went viral. I finished it and it was good, but I think it's way too overhyped. This is such a bad angle, but I want to show you guys my outfit. It's cute, but also comfy. I have been obsessed with boots lately, and I've been trying to style them with every outfit possible. The only problem is that it's super, super hot here in Florida, and people are probably looking at me like I'm crazy. Do what you gotta do to be stylish. the Wicked Witch of the West and how she melts, that's me right now. Since it's summer, um, I really don't have anywhere to go or like I do. I love going to the park and like looking at the ocean view, but I also don't like sitting there for like an hour and having nothing to do. And so one of my favorite activities is just like reading, having like the ocean waves in the background and just have a beautiful scenery around me and that just... That's my perfect summer for me. Anyways, I have been really craving horror, um, just like thriller books. That is one of my favorite books. So this is like my all time favorite author for like horror slash thriller. I have enjoyed her books so much. Like I'll recommend some of her books that I've read. And this one is The Last Time I Lied. And I also got another one from her called Lock, Lock Every Door. And this is from Riley Sager. I really, really like her. And then for self-help books, I got The Power of Regret, How Looking Backward Moves Us Forward. And I have a very like, I wouldn't say like it's toxic trait, but it's a trait that I'm trying to work on that like I really overwork myself and I don't go out as much as I should and like enjoy my young times, my young 20 times, even though I'm not 20 yet, almost. Can't believe that but and then the next book that I picked up was midlife a philosophical guide which this is just like a midlife crisis that this guy had in his early young age and he basically like tells the story or at least that's what I understood from like reading the little synopsis in the back and then I picked this up because I absolutely loved the book cover it's of literature and latte. It is currently 4.13 and I'm gonna go home, make some dinner, and I also have a lot of work to do because I've just been procrastinating so, so bad. Anyways, let's go home. So I've just been doing some work and I took a break to do some TikToks. Sometimes I tape my phone on the wall because I don't have like a really good tripod. Like I have a camera tripod but i need to buy like the attachment for the phone but currently the tape has been kind of fine it falls sometimes but it works for right now i'm currently filming a get ready with me or get dressed with me tiktok god my face is so red i am so so hot guys i really don't know what to do but i'm just going to it's currently 6 57 i am really really hungry but i am going to edit this tiktok or these two tiktok and then i'm going to go make dinner i don't really know what i'm gonna make but it's gonna be freaking delicious because i'm starving <laughs> It is currently 8.56 and I finished editing the TikToks a lot later than I thought but I just whipped up something really quick. I did some steak, some mashed potatoes that you could literally drown in and some garlic asparagus which I absolutely love asparagus. I could literally eat it every day. 
and while i'm eating i'm just going to catch up on some homework that i need to do because i've been procrastinating i really want to go to bed early today so let's see if that happens but not just any kind of facial I'm gonna go do micro needling and this morning I was really debating on whether to like cancel my appointment or not because I went on TikTok and I saw so many like negative side effects that people had but there was also a lot of videos that had like positive results on it so it just made me like really really anxious and nervous but the place that I'm going to has really good reviews <laughs> I'm super nervous <laughs> Whenever I put these glasses on, I look like a fly. <laughs> We made it. We're alive. I feel beautiful and gorgeous. Um, I was anxious for no reason. The girl that I went to was absolutely so sweet. I felt like I was hanging out with my best friend. Guys, her energy was so good. Don't mind the mess. I've been trying to curate an outfit. Uh, I'm not really liking it. I'm a little bloated. Cause I just ate dinner and then for boots I was thinking of doing my BOC boots I also thrifted these but they are literally falling apart so I don't care what happens I have changed so many times I've lost count my bed my room is a complete disaster mm -hmm. 